Hold your breath. Oh my neen it. You guys ready for an adventure? I hope so, because I think we're going to have one. I'm at a spot today that I actually wasn't going to come to. I was actually on the way to another spot. But as I was driving past, I thought to myself, this would be a great place to check. You see, there's a modern bridge here. This is a major highway. Been here for a long, long time. But this is a modern bridge. Right here is the uh, remains of the older bridge. Right here, you can see kind of the rocks piled up. Up there could be with a, for maybe there was a ford there up there in those uh, cobbles. But down here on these flat stones, just found a dropped musket ball. That's a genuine musket ball. Now that could be from the American Civil War. It could be from the French and Indian War. It could be from, well, basically it could be from 1730, probably to 1865. Um, I think we're gonna have a good day. Now I did go up there already and kind of looked around. I didn't find much. Uh, there's a lot of beer cans and stuff that were buried down in those cobbles. If that was the Ford, um, well, those, those relics are hidden pretty good. Let's concentrate down here. This could have been where they actually forded because if you notice, it's all solid bedrock. So even when the creek would be up a little bit higher than this, taking the wagons over would have been nice and solid, no problems. Up there, that, you know, the wagon wheels could get stuck and stuff in those cobbles. So I'm hoping this is a good spot. Like I said, it was a drop bullet. Hold your breath. Bullet right here, could be some more in the area. Let's just listen together real quick. That was dropped, so a little bit iron there. I really haven't had many good signals except for beer cans. Iron, iron, iron. I'm gonna dig some of that up and see if it's horseshoes. It'd be odd for them to drop one bullet in a crossing. That means that, you know, they probably tripped or something. All right, I'll get back with you as soon as we can find another good signal. So I had a little squeaker here. I didn't get the camera out because uh, it could very easily be a beer can because there's a lot of cobbles and mud in here. This thing popped out of the hole. I don't know if that's a rock or lead. That is a rock. It's just uh, calcium, I guess. But anyway, the signal that I had is over here somewhere. I thought we'd look at it together. I have not, fi oh no, figured, no, that's not it. Figured out what it is yet. Heard it with a pinpoint. All right, it's in here, whatever it is. You see it? Oh no, looky. That's why I shouldn't have gotten the camera out. Probably off of a car or refrigerator or something of the like. I do want to look along this edge. I'll go back out in the middle as soon as it clears up a little bit. Uh, Cause if there's stuff there, that'll be real easy to pick up and be able to see it. Makes a more exciting video, I think, than digging in the mud for this stuff. But this is one of those targets that's almost too good to be true. I started digging it right there, you can see. Nice and solid, it's like 90. I mean, that's all. That's too good to be just like a big old piece of silver or a big old brass belt buckle. Um, I suspect though it's gonna be something very junky. I'm probably gonna go ahead and put you away until I get it a little closer. I tried it with a pinpointer. I'll show you, it's still down quite a ways. It's not even beeping yet. All right. Yeah, start okay starting to beep right there so it's down another little bit but let me go ahead and get this dug out and then we'll uh we'll turn it back on before i pull it out of the hole all right i've been working on this hole for about 20 minutes and uh i got it down up to my elbow and it's uh, the target's big so i'm suspecting it's going to be a hubcap you see how i really had to dig it out and the, the stuff keeps going back down in the hole on the edges kind of like sand at a beach um, so I'm going to quit on this for just a few minutes. Let's go back out here in the cool water. See if we can find something more interesting than a hubcap. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. It's big, whatever it is. I can feel it's smooth and it's big. That's how I just suspect that's what it's going to be. Deeper water. I have good news and I have bad news. Um, first the bad news is I've not really found much of anything. And I've been here about an hour going up and down and all around. <sighs> I'll show you what I have right here. Yeah, I got some sinkers and a fired modern bullet, some zinc, a key. That's a big egg, what they call an egg sinker. Getting a lot of this iron stuff too. So I'm actually getting ready to head out of here in a few more minutes if we don't start finding some good stuff because the other spot I want to go to is still available and we have time. First, I have another coin down here. I can see it, but I can't tell what it is yet. Do you see it? Actually, I don't see it. <laughs> it's down in that crack somewhere. I can see it because I brushed the uh, stuff back, but I can't see it right now. So let's go under with a pinpointer and see if we can pull it out of the crack.
that's not very joyful. That is just a nickel to go with that quarter that I found. Okay, we'll give it a few more minutes. This is about where I found that musket ball. Maybe it was right there. A uh, hubcap's over there. I'll take one more look at it. If it's um, not really good looking, I'm going to cover that up. So that's the end of this adventure. Uh, I'm going to go look at that other spot. If this video continues, that means that I went uh, detecting there. And if not, that means it was like this spot. <laughs> or worse well probably worse we'll see you on the next one if it's not in a few minutes so i found something very interesting uh i don't know if you remember well I had, let me just start over okay i have a playlist called can you id and it was a playlist i hadn't really done anything with for quite a while but there's one thing on there it's like this kind of ovalish rock that i found that looked like it might well, it might have been man-made but i suspect it was natural well anyway i found another one just like it and i think this is going to prove that it's actually a natural phenomenon i think about it i'll link that video but look at this that looks just like the thing i found it's wedged down in the rock i think it moves a little bit but i think it's some type of like mud ball or something that's in this uh slate i think i guess it's a slate look how this is uh bent around it i think it's some type of weird mud ball formation isn't that isn't that cool i'll try to pry it out and if i can i'll show it to you if not i'm going to just keep moving we're going to work our way along the edge of this river see if we can find anything good that might have been thrown off the road here because there's a road real close and uh, unfortunately it's really deep so if it's not right along the bank and it's bounced down into there we'll never see it all right so i got it pried up with my little pick i said it's called this slate i should have called it shale because i'm pretty sure it's a shale but look yeah buddy now this isn't quite as dramatic as the one i found but that's exactly what it is it's the same thing the other one i have in my video has like a ring that goes around it so that's some type of weird inclusion <laughs> isn't that bizarre all right let's go ahead and look along the edge see some rocks over there that's probably where the sewer drains coming out but we won't know till we get over there hold your breath I've got a couple targets I want to show you. First is a horseshoe. Although it's not a fantastic find, it's still pretty cool. And I also dug right next, or pretty close to it, this little thingy. Do you know what that is? I do believe this is like a little leg off of a cast iron pot of some sort. So that could be really old. That could be pre Civil War. All right, two iron. Oh, I got one other thing. Dug this also, which. I don't know if that's a split shot or a piece of buck shot. Oh, yeah, three targets really close to that mud ball. Looks like it's getting shallower, so we probably have some pretty good luck around the corner. At least we can go out further. Maybe you'll see a cannonball. <laughs> I hope so. That's, that is why I'm here. Hoping to find a cannonball or a musket right up here. Well, this doesn't look like a cannonball or a musket. Hmm. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving where